Okay, just the facts, ma'am, just the facts. Well, on your left is Fidel Castro in his early years, and on your right is Ernest Hemingway, the famous writer. You can see that the match is 75%, and for me and my purposes, that's good enough, and there are some reasons why you're never going to get 100%, but anyhow, all the facts do add up. Yes, Ernest Hemingway, on the stage of hoax history, played Fidel Castro in the early years. Now, there probably have been a number of actors or famous people that have played Castro, but when Castro first emerges on the stage of history, it's Hemingway playing Castro. All right, so Castro is kind of a mysterious figure who is hiding up in the mountains, and all of a sudden he comes down out of the mountains, and there's an overthrow of government of Batista, and uh, then this mysterious figure that the world will know as Fidel Castro will dominate and rule in Cuba for many, many, many years. So the original player is Ernest Hemingway. Now, if you follow the history given, Hemingway has been in Havana, Cuba for a number of years, and he loves Cuba, and he loves the environment. So uh, he was kind of the perfect individual to play Castro, and obviously uh, Hemingway was quite close to a lot of the secret organizations that govern um, hoax history. So there you have one evidence, the photo indication. Now I'm going to go over to another computer here and show you some other things how they can hoax people. Because there was a famous uh, a meeting between Castro and Hemingway and I think that was done so that nobody would ever think that actually it's Hemingway playing Castro and they met to go fishing and it was supposed to be some kind of a fishing tournament or something of that nature. Now you'll see some photos of Castro with Hemingway but actually it's the same individual and you don't really need to be fooled by it. But that's how they fool people. They'll have a photo shoot or something uh, where they're both together so the world will never suspect that it's actually the same individual. So this is a little clip uh, from a, a video done trying to highlight the uh, fishing trip or fishing tournament that Hemingway will have with Fidel Castro. Now this is probably somewhere uh, late 1959 or early 60 because eventually it is said Hemingway will eventually leave Cuba and the interesting thing is uh, when he leaves Cuba he leaves everything behind but anyhow back to this photo you'll see it on the wall and all the dialogue is in Spanish so Okay, there you have it. Uh, you have kind of the, and I've, I've referred to this in some of my other videos, you have what I've been calling the split persona, which is one individual who plays both roles. Both roles. So on the right is Ernest Hemingway, the author, and on the left is Fidel Castro, the revolutionary who comes out of the mountains and will seize control from the government and hence Cuba will be under this uh, strange figure for many many years. So if you look carefully you can see that it is the same individual but it's being portrayed in such a way that Hemingway is made to look much much older than he is at the time and then Castro is made uh, very young and youthful in the photograph. So you have the white hair on the right, the Hemingway, and the black hair on the left. Okay, you have the almighty, all-powerful ruler with his costume on, and then you have the simple man who just likes to write books such as The Old Man and the Sea on the right. 
but actually it's the same individual and it was done through trick photography and blending of photos which you know now because of all the software available how easy it is to do things like this but back in the 1959-1960 era most folks would never ever think that something could be blended in such a fashion now if you look carefully at Hemingway's fingers you will see very very clearly he forms the number seven once again there's your coded uh, Zion the, 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 the uh, mind weapon so the mind weapon is being used on you to say here's two different individuals a writer and a sovereign ruler dictator which isn't true because Hemingway plays Castro in the early years as I said as time goes on more and more individuals will play the role now this is some stock footage of um, Castro talking traveled recently a lot through South America Latin America do you find support for your ideas there? of course I, I found a lot of support okay so you can hear South this America. There's some voice modification there on Castro, but it's just Hemingway in costume and uniform. Latin America, do you find support for your ideas there? Of course. I, I found a lot of support. It, 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 wonderful support. It admired me very much. Okay, notice how it's, it's kind of garbled and stuff. They're messing around with the voice patterns so you don't really recognize Hemingway. Now I'm going to give you a very strange interview with Hemingway, and I want you to listen carefully to some of the words that he chooses in this very strange interview. And it looks like, it looks like he's a seventh grader reading a script, which is probably done intentionally, to kind of throw you off, to, to show you like the contrast that, that he can't stand to be in front of a camera and so forth. So this is Hemingway and he's being interviewed and he's, he's still down in Havana. He hasn't left Cuba according to hoax history. Do you plan to go to Sweden to receive the award? I'm sorry that I will not be able to go to Sweden on the orders of my doctor who says that I'm doing very well after the serious internal injuries that I received in the air crashes and that he believes that it would be very bad for me to interrupt the regime which I have been maintaining. Um, okay, did you catch the pun? Did you catch the pun? He said the regime that I've been maintaining. Now, what, there's double usage of words. Most folks don't talk like that. Like, oh, I get up and go to work and I come home and watch TV and go to sleep. And that's my regime. We might say it's my routine, but we won't use the word regime. But I suppose it can fit, but actually it's a pun, all right? It's a pun for the world, his regime that he's maintaining. He's telling you he's playing the role of Castro, all right? <laughs> and that's what they do in these hoaxes. They will, they will make puns. They will, they will tell you in a way that you, you can never catch on. And then if anybody says, oh, I think... I think Hemingway's pretending to play Castro, uh, people will say, man, he sure is crazy. So I know a lot of folks might look at my videos and say, this guy's really, really crazy. Well, not really, folks, because once you understand that all of what you think is history was really just a stage and there were actors on it. So we're going to go back here now to the final uh, slide again to show you the uh, similarities between Ernest Hemingway and Fidel Castro. Okay? So when Castro comes out of the mountains 
and just jumps onto the stage of history, the one who's really behind the mask is actually the great writer Ernest Hemingway. Now, it is said that Hemingway left Cuba about 1960, which is, quote, very convenient because we are going to have in uh, hoax history some major, major events that will occur in 1961. There will be a failed attempt called the Bay of Pigs, another hoax to take on Cuban refugees and exiles and train them and go back and try to seize the government off of Castro. All a hoax, all right? But Hemingway left Cuba, supposedly, supposedly, in 1960. And when he left, by the way, it says he left everything intact, his whole house. And it says, oh, he never returned. Because in 1961, Hemingway, according to hoax history, will commit suicide uh, in the United States. I think he's up in uh, Ketchum, Indiana. But anyhow, Hemingway commits suicide in 1961. So in the minds of the public, he's out of the way. He's gone. He killed himself. But guess what happens in 1962, in October? Yeah, you guessed it. The 13 days that was to change history. The Cuban Missile Crisis. So all while this is going on, the whole world thinks Hemingway, he left Cuba a while ago, and Hemingway come back to the United States and killed himself. <laughs> and everybody's worried about this madman called Fidel Castro, who now has got some nuclear missiles from Russia, and they're aimed at the U.S. And President Kennedy will sweat, sweat it out. And the whole world will sweat it out because we were on the verge of nuclear destruction. We were, we, were, we were on the peeve of destruction, if you watch my other video. So anyhow, that's the story and that's the fact. Hemingway will play the early Castro in his early years and he will be the hoaxer who will be hoaxing history. Go to the one who never hoaxed history the one true God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. One God in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Thank you for watching.